Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing tour of the island Sea Sails, which you guessed it, is themed all around boating, water. It is absolutely beautiful and has a bit of a vintage twist to it. All of the homes are decorated, so this is going to be a tour you don't wanna miss. This island was created by Bethan, and I'm gonna make sure to put all of her information in regards to the dream address, where you can follow her on Instagram, all that good stuff in the description box. If you're not subscribed already, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button, but let's go ahead and get on into the tour. Here we are at the airport and I feel like an island named Sea Sails is absolutely perfectly fit to have a blue airport, but also gotta give a little shout out to this flag as well because it's just so, so cute. Of course, before we dive right on into it, I just wanna take a peek at this villager lineup. Oh, it looks like we have two residents right here. That's so much fun and all of the homes are decorated as well. So grab a snack, this might be a longer one. Also, here's the dream address on the screen if you want to pause the video tour along with me, all that good stuff. But for a villager lineup, we have Poppy, Shino, Canberra, Savannah, Cousteau, Stitches, Chevre, Whitney, Fang, and Dobie. And I believe Bethan said that Fang and Dobie's area is um, one of her favorites, so we'll have to definitely check that out. And. Let's go ahead and get started. Look at this entrance. I love when people put a home just right out of the gate. Amazing. But first, let's say hello, too. Welcome to Sea Sales. How cute is that resident? Also, so close to resident services. Oh my gosh, there's presents. Wait, I didn't even see these. Did not even see these whenever I woke up. I don't know how I missed them, but <laughs> let's go ahead and... Make sure that we do dress ourselves appropriately for the tour. Something cool about this as well is Bethan told me that the island was named Sea Sails uh, by someone else. So this was a totally different person's island. Yeah, okay, cute. Look at this outfit. Wait, did I change my pants? There we go, <laughs> now it's fit. And so she wanted to really decorate the island based on its name, which she did not choose, which I just thought that was so creative and cool. Also look at this little welcome sign, how cute is everything? Absolutely adorable. And since all of the houses are decorated, let's go ahead and go right on in this one. Wait, look at how cute. Oh my gosh, this little patio area. Adorable. Well, we have a lot of exploring to do, so let's dive on in. How precious is this room? Oh my goodness. So vintage, so quaint. I love this wallpaper. I swear I will discover something new that I had no idea was in the game this entire time, almost every single tour, and this wallpaper is one of them. Also, I believe this is the elegant sofa, but I don't think I've ever seen it in either of these colorways. Man, I'm such a creature of habit and use the same things over and over again, but this is an incredible room, and I love how with the usage of the curtains, we have that room blocked off over there, but let's go ahead and check out the others that we have access to. Oh, how fun. I love this moon rug. I would say between this rug, the one we just saw actually in the living room, and probably the doily lacy one, they're my favorites. I use them almost in every interior build it seems like. I love the moon rug, so pretty. All right, can we go to the right? Yes, we can. Oh my gosh, I love this room. Oh, the green and white is so pretty. And look at the framed picture of Brewster. We have a KK album. This is so pretty. The entire island has a green and white color palette, by the way, if you haven't noticed already. 
But I'd love to see all of that inspiration also brought into the interiors. So gorgeous. I mean, y'all know, I love me some green. And let's go up. how pretty again this like whole bedspread didn't know this color existed it's the quilted i gosh i forget the name of the items but yeah it's so funny seeing so many islands you would think that i would have a pretty good recollection of what items are in the game because i see a lot of them used in different ways but nope Everything is a surprise. Okay, and there's not a basement, so we'll head out. That is so sweet. Again, I really, really love how there was a home just right out of the airport gate, a little welcome area. So sweet. And again, resident services is so close to the airport, but it doesn't feel that way. Like you, it's still very much hidden at the entrance itself, which is really cool. And here I think is the second residence home. Complete, of course, with a little car and <laughs> driveway. And we have our first villager home to explore as well. So this video, again, is gonna be pretty interior heavy. I had to see this little patio first though. But we're not gonna explore the beaches because those have been left empty and I totally understand beaches can be a beach. See what I did there? <laughs> to complete. All right, let's go in the second residence house. Ooh, I mean, you guys already know I love it. I love, this is so cool, actually. It's just like moody, vintage, a little hint of like, Gothic. I love the pop of green, <laughs> surprising no one, <laughs> against this like dark wall. Beautiful. One thing I wish we could do is for any wallpaper that has a window, I wish we could select what the weather was like. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Like you could do this wallpaper, but let's say you wanted it to be like rainy outside or, I don't know, snowy. That would be so neat to choose different weatherscapes, I guess. I mean, I know you can kind of do that with the lighting. Oh, fun. Oh, I love this kitchen. This looks like very similar to a kitchen that I have built in the game. This chocolate cake is making me want chocolate cake. But yeah, wouldn't that be so cool if we could have like a thunderstorm outside here or I don't know, or if it was like cherry blossom season, we could change it to that or make it like fall. I'm just spitballing ideas for the next game at this point. Which we will, I wonder when that is gonna be. I honestly don't think it's gonna be anytime soon, but I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll be a surprise to us all. And my favorite wallpaper, I, have this wallpaper in my bedroom. <laughs> this whole house actually I, is very, very similar to the way that I decorate too with like the darker color furniture as well as the darker wallpaper with, you guessed it, a whole lot of green accents. I just think it's so pretty. Love it. All right, let's check out that villager house too. Because that one, I believe, had someone inside so we can go and see it. And whose home is this? I love, I love these little flower bed custom coats as well. It looks so good. And of course, the wheel on the wall. On the wall? No, on the door. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. Oh, it's Campira's house. This is so well done. Perfect with a view of the ocean and everything. Ambera, you are living such a great life with this view. Oh, I love the simplicity in the furniture here too. It's so clean. 
I love the combination of the two different floorings. What a great, great layout. All right, well, let us continue to the museum. How pretty is this? I mean, look at this whole flower area. Oh, my stitches. <laughs> this is quite beautiful. I've got to say, I've never seen a layout quite like this where the wheat fields have like gaps in between them. It looks like it's every two or, well, no, I guess, I guess it is kind of random. That's so pretty though. And especially too with the museum here. Oh wait, we haven't said hi to you, I don't think, have we? <laughs> Just a little smiley face, cute. But see what I mean how this all lines up to be just so gorgeous. This is a photo op for sure. So pretty. And all the water. Oh, this is so much fun. So many boats. I've never seen this design either of the fish in these buckets. That's so cool. Lots of boats. And that's what Bethan told me too. They were like, the theme is boats. <laughs> and there's lots of boats. This is so fun. I'm gonna run in the water, ruin the illusion a little bit. But I do love this boardwalk code and these little little grates, I guess we would call them. So cute. So you can come fix your boat up right here. Oh. Am I just now realizing that this opens and closes? Have I never known that? Again, learn something new. Almost every island. <laughs> Hello, Chevre. Whose house is this? I love this. Look at how pretty this is. And we have a little area to lie down, own little patio. Of course, it's a waterfront property, it looks like. And this, again, the color combination of the green and white, I love it. I think it looks so clean. This is for Whitney. Oh gosh, can you guys hear that? That's my husband sneezing <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> this home is so pretty. I've never thought to use those partition walls as a way to like frame off a bed before, but it looks really good. And it kind of makes sense if you really do want to section off your villager home. So that way they have like a living space or a dining space that is separated from their sleeping area. So gorgeous. Well, you have a beautiful home, my dear. Oh, how cool is this? So in between the, uh, well, obviously the fake water, we have a little strip of grass going through everything. This is so pretty. Okay, we're gonna walk on water again. I'm gonna do a little miracle here. This is so good. Oh my gosh, and with all of the fish hanging in the background too, <laughs> on those uh, simple panels. This is so creative. Man, I can like smell it. You guys know, if you've ever spent any significant time like on a dock, especially a fishing dock, man, such a very specific smell. Ah, <laughs> cute, wait, I love this. Look at this little plaza area. What a perfect example on how, what, this is four items right here. That's it, just four items. Yeah, we have some fencing and wheat fields scattered nearby, but like the custom pathing and just a few items really can make a pretty incredible area. Like sometimes I get so in my head about overcomplicating my designs in Animal Crossing, but Simplicity is definitely a great way to go. Hello, Dobie. This is all so, so pretty. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit just to make sure we're not losing any areas. I guess we'll go down here, sure. My gosh, I gotta say, the white pumpkins 
look really, really great on this island. Oh, and here we have a car pulling a boat. Oh, that's the one that we were looking at earlier. Oh, funny. And then we have, this is the first house again. <gasps> no, it's not. Oh my gosh, I'm so, I get, I mean, y'all know, come on. It's not a tour without me being confused about where I am directionally. Okay, let's go in here because we have not been in this one. Hello, Cousteau. This is so zen, so pretty. All of these villager homes have such clean, precise symmetry. And they're also very unique to the villager, which is so cool. Like this one is perfect for you, buddy. You even match, look at what he's wearing. <laughs> he matches the pillows almost exactly. So good. This is such a joyful island to walk around. It's very aesthetically pleasing. It's very pretty. Something about it is very serene. This is so cute too. Okay, this is adorable because this isn't an actual housing plot. Like it's, it, this is, was made. <laughs> <laughs> Are my words even making sense? Okay, so this, I first thought was like an actual in-game housing plot, you know? But then I saw the sold sign and I was like, no, no, no. That's not what that looks like in the game. This is something that Bethan made to look like the housing plot. And it's genius. We even have the moving van. We have tons of boxes and packages, the briefcase. This is really cute and... I might steal this idea for myself because it's this is adorable. I love it. And then over here, we got another. I love that most of the villagers are in their homes. Oh, dang, Dobie's not in his house, though. And I know that was one of the areas. Well, we'll still look at the outside, but that was one of the homes I think that Bethan said that she particularly liked. Hello, Shino. Wait, not me just realizing that when you walk on the indoor sand, you 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 get footprints. I guess maybe I did know that. <gasps> Look at how hers have little hoof prints. <laughs> That's so cute. So gorgeous. So she know appropriate as well, I gotta say. It's like a amplified version of her other. No, I guess her other one is more like it's darker colors, isn't it? This is so great. Oh, and I'm just now realizing we haven't even seen Nook's Cranny yet. We haven't seen Abel Sisters yet. Look at this little park too. Oh, this is so precious. Again, like these filler areas are, they're doing it for me. I don't know exactly. <laughs> I don't know exactly like why I'm so obsessed with all of these little park areas that we're seeing on this island, but it is definitely like doing something for the happy chemicals in my brain. And here it looks like we have a little private dock and fishing spot. Super cute. can't get over that little moving area. It's adorable. And then I think we're at, this is the main house, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just making sure I'm not missing anything if I can help it. And look at this little camping spot. How sweet is this? There is that amazing gazebo that I really liked. I think this is so clever. Just having the waters kind of broken up by these strips of grass. Very effective. And then we have this whole back boardwalk, which is amazing. You know what's interesting too? There is not much actual 
hair forming on this island at all. A lot of it is just the beauty of custom pathing, which is very impressive. Hello again, Chevre. Let me go back here just to make sure I'm not missing anything in this corner. Oh, you know what? I just realized we didn't see the secret beach. Oh, wait. Is it blocked off? That would make sense. Is it over here where I just was? It is. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. I do kind of love that. Like, the beaches aren't decorated and all of the actual water on a boat themed island is custom pathing, so it only does make sense to block off the in-game water, you know? Makes sense to me. Cute little hand washing station. Get the fish guts off your hands. <gasps> what is this? Oh, so cute. You guys already know what I'm gonna say. I love the mismatched chairs. Love them, love them. Something about it just gives like a little, just a little element of quirk. But the design still looks so pretty. I'm just a big fan, what can I say? Big fan of the mismatched chairs. And then back to that amazing moving plot. I can't get over that, that's so cute. Okay, now let's go all the way to the left. Oh, here's Nook's Cranny. Cute. Behind it looks like we have a little picnic spot. And then back here, oh, here are those villager homes. Okay, it looks like someone's inside. We gone in this one? No, we have not seen Poppy's house. Yeah, I love the green exterior with the white door. Very pretty. Poppy. Aww. I think Poppy is a very good villager. Very pure. Pure of heart. <laughs> Man, she's so cute. And again, my favorite wallpaper. This is a different color of it, but the design remains the same. I just love the flowers. I love your home, Poppy. And another ocean view, which is perfect. It's so cool. And these homes are on, like on the dock. Oh, I think this is Dobie and Fang's area, isn't it? It is. Dang, no, neither one is home, but I love that they're like on this giant dock. Look at how pretty this is too. I'm sorry, but like just the color coordination between the homes and between all of the items, it really is beautiful. Like, these look so nice next to each other. Yeah, they're obviously different styles of homes, but they complement each other so beautifully. This is a cute little spot too. Yeah, again with, like right here. This is amazing. Who lives here? <laughs> now I'm just being nosy. This is Chevrolet. Cause I love this kind of patio concept with the tile. I had to be nosy and see, <laughs> see who got that house. Oh my gosh, how cute. Even the green and white mannequins out here. So, so sweet. And it looks like Abel's and Nook's are next to one another. Man, what did we do before the 2.0 update? Like so many of these items we just did not have. And it makes such an incredible difference. And also, before the 2.0 update, there was no way for me to... I mean, I could have gone inside the villager homes, but that was pre-Happy Home Paradise, and, you know, it wouldn't have made much sense to see, like, the normal interior of the homes. <laughs> wow, that is so gorgeous. This whole area is so, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to just zoom around, see if I didn't 
entirely miss an area, which I think I did. Oh, Savannah, you're so cute. Yeah, like I haven't seen any of this. Look at how beautiful this is. Like this whole view, so pretty. Oh, cute. Okay, so when you go to the left of resident services, it takes you on this giant, beautiful dock. I see. Oh, this is so stunning. Yep, this is a gorgeous island. Again, something about it is very... It, it's making all of the serotonin just kind of hit right. <laughs> oh, what's back here? Oh, stop it. We have like a little waterfront ice cream shop. This is so cute. I'm in love. This is beautiful. What an absolutely charming island. I feel like that's the best descriptor <laughs> for for this island is that it's just so incredibly charming. And I've got to say, I think this is my favorite area with the <laughs> with the little moving spot. I don't know why. It has nothing to do with the boats at all. But it's just so cute. And let me just say, so incredibly easy to navigate. I know at the beginning of this video I said grab a snack, it might be a long one, but honestly, because it is so wonderfully easy to navigate and I'm not twisting and turning and getting lost, even though I, I will get lost on any island, let's be real. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. I'm impressed. I am so, so impressed. Please do yourselves a major favor. Go give Bethan some love. Oh my goodness, I did not mean to... I hate when I do this. Do you guys ever do that? You get the filter on like last minute? I did not mean to do that. But this is a very funny um, way to end the video. I'm just kidding. I can't do that. All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to also fix my link to submit islands. I think it has been a little broken. So please do submit your island for a tour. We have a few fun little Halloween islands um, queued up for the next few weeks. Um, but also let me know what you want to see on this channel, especially looking forward to the month of December. I would like to do Animal Christmas, Katie on calico -mas. Um, tour miss something again um, but I need to know what you guys want to watch so just let me know that and yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me and thank you again to Bethan for letting me tour your absolutely beautiful island and I will see y'all in the next one bye bye